Welcome to new TechView Vlog. After I talked about the Xperia 10 Mark II and translated some reviews for you, now the device arrived, finally. And it's time to unbox it. Let's get started. Here's the packaging, the Xperia 10 Mark II by Sony, as you can see. And we want to take a look at uh, this here, as you can see, this is the model number XQAU52 Black. And this is the version for Great Britain, Spain, Russian, Ukraine, I think Kazakhstan and uh, other nations as well. So it's the international version, dual SIM, as you can see here. And uh, let's take a look at the back. Sony lists all the specs here as well. Most of them at least 12 megapixel camera, 8 megapixel camera, 8 megapixel camera, triple camera setup, 12 megapixel the main cam, 8 megapixel telephoto and 8 megapixel ultra wide, 8 megapixel front cam, full HD 6 inch display, 3600 mAh battery, Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor and IP65 and 68 water and dust resistance. Uh, what do we see here? Wi-Fi certified microSD NFC Bluetooth of course. And the seals original box as you can see here. So let's get started with the unboxing. Let's rip apart the seals without ripping apart our fingers. And that should be it. The typical unboxing magic happens. Voila! Well, this is the box, as you can see here. Opened up the phone itself in a plastic housing, plastic case. Let's put it aside. Let's take a look at the accessories. Some toilet paper, no, printing paper. But you know, in times of need, you can use it as well as toilet paper, maybe. So, Sony Xperia 10. And this is how you put the SIM card in. As you can see, it takes SIM card and micro SD card and has dual SIM, but only one way or the other. You cannot put in two SIM cards and a micro SD card. And here you can see a power brick. That's the British one. And it should be, you can read the output. I cannot read it, it's too small for my eyes. Or oh, maybe I can. Output is 5 volts, 1.5 ampere, 7.5 watts. So it's not the fastest because the processor supports PD charging with 18 watts. And I think I will use the PD <laughs> charging instead of this power plug because it doesn't work in New Zealand. Uh, anyway, so then we have the. Sony MH410C headphones. These are in-ear headphones and uh, those as you can see here are not the ones you plug in into your ear canal. Those are the ones who sit outside of it. And then of course a power cable USB A on USB C. And that's it. Let's put it away and unwrap this baby here. And here you can see, wow, it's light. It feels like plastic toy. But it isn't plastic. Apparently, I said last time it is plastic on the back, but No, it isn't plastic. At least it isn't the normal plastic that you have on the Xperia 10 Plus, for example. As you can see here, 
and this one here has a different kind of noise and different kind of feeling so this is glass apparently Gorilla Glass 6 you can see here manufacturer Sony Mobile Communications Inc Tokyo Japan and EU importer Sony Europe in Belgium so you can take off this sticker put it somewhere else and we can put away this foil here's a leash there's no screen protector oops wants to yeah. no screen protector installed by default as you can see here and this is the beautiful six inch OLED display that you can see here front facing camera with earpiece come on focus Sony focus I know you can <laughs> I know it's black it's hard to focus with an autofocus here you can see the down firing speaker here you can see USB type C and a microphone very clean and soft oh. that's the same material as they used on the Xperia 10 plus as you can see it's a, more, a bit more shiny here but it is also a matte material and here it is more even more matte as you can see and it goes around the device itself here we have the sim slot and as you can see it is a combi sim slot so you can see sim card or SD card and uh, sim card here sim 1 sim 2 either or SD card so that's it and here we have the two buttons only power control button and fingerprint scanner and the volume rocker and another highlight three cameras on the back 12 megapixels 8 and 8 megapixels and I think it's a dual LED flash as well and on the top last but not least a headphone jack and another noise cancelling microphone Sony logo in the back you can see fingerprint magnet already and let's turn this device on to see if it has some juice yes it's turning on it feels very light a lot lighter than the Xperia 10 plus I think I will do a comparison to this 10 plus device because this 10 plus device uh, comes with a smaller battery than the new 10 device but you can see it is also smaller quite a bit smaller I think I will do a comparison <laughs> later on so it's starting up and it's greeting me in a language that I don't understand but no problems here I can change the language if I click on this and here I have different languages that I can change to let's set it up in English New Zealand okay welcome now it greets me in English as well and I can just click on get started and yeah I'm aware uh, I don't want to share any data with Sony it's his very bright display it's a bit brighter than in real life right now and I can connect to a Wi-Fi it has Wi-Fi AC support so 2.4 gigahertz and also um, the 5 gigahertz band this is mobile network not Wi-Fi so I was a bit confused let's search for Wi-Fi's and uh, then it will fall into uh, Wi-Fi's and I can connect to it entered it wrongly obtain IP address this looks nice and it's connecting to the Wi-Fi checking for updates of course and then we have the assistant that allows us to configure the device let's see how it looks like here you can see it comes without any notch the bezels on the side are a bit big as you can see here let's go at the bottom at least the bottom bezel and the top bezel seem to be symmetric and yeah 
pretty nice device i think that's it for this unboxing hope you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up share and like it thanks for watching until the next time bye